Hey friends, it's Rachel with Shades of Blue Interiors and today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome number sign with planter that I made last week in like an hour and I was so easy I thought why not show you guys how easy it is to make as well. It's mounted to the brick, kind of floating style. So it can be removed, you can customize it. This one is made for three numbers, but I'm gonna show you how to make one for four numbers. So let's get started. Okay, step number one, you're gonna to wanna to stand all your pieces down so there's no splinters. This is gonna be the front of your planter. These are the sides. This is the bottom. So the bottom needs to have drain holes so that your wood doesn't rot and your plants don't die. So just get like a scrap two by four, turn it over. This is what you use the quarter inch drill bit for and just drill a bunch of holes. It doesn't matter how many, you know, at least three or four, but I kind of like to go overboard and have lots of drainage. I already have my one and a quarter inch nails in my nail gun. So I'm gonna apply some wood glue on the sides like so. You wanna attach your planter box stapling from the back. Just had, I got a couple of scrap two by fours. Wrap up this end. Okay, so next I'm going to fill all the nail holes with wood filler. We need to measure the placement of our numbers. So the perfect placement, besides being centered, is you want your first number, if these are five inch numbers, you want your first number to be about an inch, inch and a half from the top, and you want about an inch in between each number and five inches from your bottom number to the top of your planter box. Draw pencil marks on the top, the bottom, and both sides. On the back of the number, I have these little places where these mounting screws screw in. So I'm going to screw them in. And now I'm going to trace around the mounting bolts so I know exactly where I'm gonna drill my holes. I'm using a 9 64 inch drill bit. I've already drilled the holes where my numbers are gonna go. I'm almost ready to attach them, but before I attach them, I want to stain everything. So before I stain, I need to make sure to sand where I put all the wood filler. Now I'm ready to stain. Let it dry for a few hours before you put the top coat on. Okay, now once the timber oil has dried, I'm ready to attach the numbers, but before I do that, the mounting bolts are a little bit longer than the thickness of the wood. When I push it flush, it just goes beyond. So I need a little spacer for the back. So I have these four little pieces of scrap wood that I've cut into squares that I'm actually gonna attach to the back so when I mount it on the wall, it will attach with no problem without these hitting up against the brick. But I'm also gonna put them behind, I'm just gonna set them behind. I'm gonna put it in, and I don't wanna damage the number, so I'm gonna put a piece of scrap wood on top, and then just carefully pound both sides gently in until it's all the way in. Okay, so I got all of the numbers pounded into the number sign, and this is what we're looking like so far. And as I mentioned just before, there's little spaces that are needed on the back, and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so as you can see, the end pieces of the bolts attaching the numbers are sticking out about a quarter of an inch. I have these four spacers that have already drilled holes in the center using a 316 inch drill bit 
and I'm going to drill also four holes in the top corners and right above the planter box on the backboard piece. And all I have to do is take these spacers, once I have the holes drilled, and line them up and then attach nice and tight and secure without hitting these little screw bolts. Here you can see I've attached the anchor screw through the board, through the spacer, and into the mortar in between the bricks. I placed some clear silicone caulk into each hole that I pre-drilled. So that is it for the number sign. Make sure to subscribe if you liked this tutorial and want to see more. Have a great day and thanks for watching.